church. Look, it's a city. No, it's a town. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's Newberry, Newberry Park. Park. <laughs> There is some confusion out there about Newberry Park because it has its own unique flavor. Some people think it's its own city, its own town, but in fact, it's been part of Thousand Oaks since the 1960s. In this video, we're going to be talking about what makes Newberry Park so special. We're going to be talking about the neighborhoods, cost of living, what it's like to live here, pros and cons, and so much more. And on this channel, we're going to go in detail about living in all the cities in Ventura County, and we're the only real estate channel that does that. So hit that subscribe button. The location of Newberry Park is very special. It backs right up to the Santa Monica National Mountains on one side, and then you're still going to be pretty accessible to Highway 101, driving to Los Angeles, to Ventura, Camarillo, and then also you're going to have back roads which will take you to Point Mugu State Beach Park or also to Malibu. Because of its location, the weather here is wonderful. You're going to get those ocean breezes, and because it's surrounded by all of those mountains, it's just cooler here than a lot of the other cities in the Conejo Valley. You're looking at temperatures as low as the 40s and on average in the high 80s. However, there have been recorded temperatures recently in the hundreds too. The lifestyle once again is special because of the Santa Monica National Mountains. So you'll see people hiking, biking, horseback riding, there's stables in the neighborhood. So if you love the great outdoors, this is the place for you. And then on the flip side, if you really like nightlife and excitement in that sense, there's not a whole lot to do. So people are gonna be driving for their night on the town to get to Los Angeles or to Ventura. Because of its location with all of that open space and mountains, you're gonna hear all the time about a sighting of coyotes and maybe even a bobcat. And when you're walking your dog or walking up in the mountains, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep an eye out for mountain lions and rattlesnakes. On the plus side though, you will also be serenaded by frogs, just like in a John Steinbeck novel. <laughs> And if you're near one of those parks, you might even see some turtles sunbathing. Newberry Park has a nice suburban community feeling. You'll see neighborhood garage cells and July 4th parties and barbecues and just a lot of different people getting together. There are great community centers here that also have softball and soccer and football, just lots of different sports. And there's also uh, meetups that meet up and go hiking or play board games. So if you want to be part of that community, it's really easy to. Also, we've heard people say that they go to the supermarket and they're greeted by their name. The cost of living in Newberry Park is roughly 35% higher than the national average in large part due to the cost of utilities and home prices. Although the homes will be a little bit more affordable than nearby Westlake Village, Agora Hills, and Thousand Oaks, and then slightly more expensive than Oxnard or Port Wanimi. There aren't a lot of jobs set in Newberry Park. There's not a lot of corporations or industrial, but you do have Amgen, which employs over 5,000 people locally. Newberry Park is part of Thousand Oaks, which is listed as one of the safest cities in America. Being part of California, you do have a chance of earthquakes, and being so close to all of this open space, there is potential for wildfires. Right, even as, as recently as this last summer, I remember coming up here hiking quite a bit, and it was very dry, and residents were definitely concerned about that wildfire risk. The air quality in Newberry Park and Thousand Oaks is lumped together, and that's rated as 65% of the days are good air quality, although you may potentially have better air quality in Newberry Park just because of its location being closer to the ocean breezes. And being part of Thousand Oaks, the schools are also rated A+. And now what you've been waiting for, the neighborhoods. Woohoo! Three of the things you'll hear Newberry Park residents say about what they love about this area is number one, it's quieter than Thousand Oaks. It's also cooler. It's roughly five degrees cooler than Thousand Oaks and 10 degrees cooler than Westlake Village. And overall, it's just more low key. It's slow paced. It's so quiet here, you can hear the nature and the birds and just immerse yourself in this fantastic park-like setting. And as you can see, the lots are larger and the homes are larger here too. So you get more bang for your buck than you would in Ventura or, or Westlake Village. 
Newberry Park is a mixture of old and new. The older homes have this charming feeling with mountain views and a lot of them backing up to open space or parks. And they were built in the 1960s and 70s. Some of them have not been updated or upkept and may seem a little bit more rundown next to a home that's been fully remodeled. Those homes tend to not have HOAs. The newer developments will have a mixture of semi-custom to custom homes and they're located on larger lots and you're going to get more bang for your buck here than you would in Westlake Village or Thousand Oaks. The medium price range of homes in Newberry Park is about a million. However, depending on what subdivision you land out buying in, you can find a medium price ranging in the 800s and an introductory home in the 600s. The homes that are higher priced and in gated properties, you're looking at a medium price range of 1.2 million with highs even going up to 3 million. And those homes tend to have HOAs. So Newberry Park has a nice mixture of smaller ranch homes, larger semi-custom homes, HOAs, gated properties, and non-HOAs. It has everything that you could want. We're going to be making another video talking about the neighborhoods and go into more detail. Thank you so much for watching our video and we hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. We have more written and video resources for you on our website, so be sure to check out our neighborhood guide. We'll put a link in the notes below. And we are real estate agents, so give us a call if you're thinking about moving or selling in the Ventura County area. We have a lot of knowledge and resources to help you.